Hi guys, good afternoon. This is my um, Dendrobium kingianum bush. <laughs> yeah, it's a bush now. Look at that. Although it flowered um, a lot last um, winter inside the grow room, but there's also a few kikis that um, started growing in there and matured here outside. Um, I brought this plant outside like around uh, mid April. It's still a bit chilly, but um, it's not freezing temperature like that. Um, I always push this plant to the limit um, for three years now, and it's still around. The first year that I did this plant, you, uh, some people call it abuse, but it's not really. I I like to experiment sometimes, and see, I cut some in here and I put them in the flower vase and they produce kiki. And then, um, right now, I see some growth. One. Uh, there's another one in addition to this new giant growth that I produce inside the grow room. And this is, and this one right here, it produce a, from the outside. Probably going to make more. But anyway, this spent spike, I'm just going to cut this late, later on. With um pruner and but what I'm gonna do today is just I'm gonna remove the kikis because the older kikis have kiki yeah two generation of kikis guys so it's about time now and this one while I'm just it's so easy while I'm just like turning around the plant this one just fell off so and um so anyway it's just very easy guys like I said it's easy I just do it like this you twist and pull see sometimes you can wet the plants you can wet the plants to make the the um, roots pliable easy to move like that so this one guys I do not need to separate these two because see they grow together because like the older kiki, it grow. Uh, uh, this is the older kiki. It's, it's um, more shriveled than this one, so it grow another one. It's like it looks like just one plant growing another. So that's good. We'll remove another one right here. Yeah, just twist and pull, guys. So easy. This is how I do it, without using the tools. Because if I use tools. And very careful about it then I will make a mistake I will slip and I will cut the, the root because it happens to me before <laughs> so that's one when I was a novice on kiki thing yeah so this one see this one guys it, it is a kiki right here and it's growing a basil kiki and another kiki second generation kiki same thing as here it's kind of cute really bushy but look at that it's simple so simple guys see this cut i don't even need to put um cinnamon in that you can if you don't trust the, your environment uh, you know that it would contract um infection but i trust it's dry right now look at that and it's just very tiny opening right there yeah gonna be okay and this one this kiki have the kiki I can also remove this just like that see guys don't worry about it this root it's plenty enough for the kingianum this is very um hardy plant yeah there's another example right here of a kiki growing another kiki it's like um it's like a second year kiki because I haven't removed kiki from this one uh, Almost two years, I guess. Yeah. Look at this guy, see? Isn't that cute? A kiki and a kiki. <laughs> it's amazing. Just like this, guys. See? Snap. There it is. And, and I can um, experiment on this, guys. I can grow this one in the, you know, maybe um, sponge rock. Yeah. Haven't tried that one. So I'm going to try this growing in a sponge rock. And some the tra traditional one 
because I do love this um tiny compact um flowers. I mean plants it's very fragrant. Yes. So nice. Yeah. This is very very high hardy um plants. See guys. It was raining yesterday. I mean two nights two days ago, thunderstorm actually. So they got wet and then yesterday even if it's windy I have to um I really have to um spray them and I did I did spray them yesterday even though it was windy because I can't stand it anymore and I want the mealy bugs to be gone or whatever bugs that got them from the inside. So that's another kiki guys. Yeah. Those are um most of them are older older kikis and the one that still have um pink like this these are the new one that sprout early spring yeah so early thing but most of the kiki that has kiki those are old 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 kiki yeah more than a year old kiki you okay, guys this one I'm just gonna leave this like this because see the kiki right here's only had one um and it's not big enough yet so I'm just gonna leave that on yeah and it's it's spike last spring this one so and this new growth from the in the inside chiumongas unbelievable yeah and I'm really gonna thoroughly clean this baby right here yeah this one flowered too and this more yes Oh, I'm so happy I got plenty to uh, experiment with. Yeah. Probably this is the first time I've ever, ever totally cleaned this baby up. Unbelievable. I'm gonna get some pruners so I can show you how to clean this off here. And here guys, I'm back. I have my uh, pruner right here. Yes, okay. Just go right there as far as you can uh, put fit the, the pruner. Then cut. Come go. The thing's clean. Now, clean this up. Clean this up. I really want this to be a beautiful bush. There you go. Wow, guys. This is my um, Trodendrobium kinianum. Yes. The old. Better remove the old cane as well. Yeah. Oh, look at this, guys. Pretty neat and clean now. And it got sprayed on yesterday. I used the um, organic gardening. Uh, for organic gardening, um, fruit tree spray. That that also get rid of the the mealy bugs and spider mites that what you have in the orchid. That's why I just use it for fruit trees and for orchids. Yeah. So this this is my original dendrobium kingianum right here. It went through a lot with me. See that my experiment. I cut them and put them in a early spring once it's um already safe no more frost put in here but still like um the temperature will go up and down up and down the 30s uh high 30s like 38 at some point it went to 36 and it, it, it still survived but it's only for um like a few hours in the morning and then back to high 40s and 50s like that it survived this one i really pushed this plant to the limit guys but it's still here but also it, when I experiment like that I make sure that I have um planted a kiki sit aside so that just in case you know that's what gets so experiment on your own risk guys so I had um a lot in here some I'm gonna put in the bark medium and some I put in the in the um um pumice rock or um perlite something like that Okay guys, I have um, more new plants.
yeah and they don't take up much much space in the house they grow um bushy but that's about it oh except for this one this is the i don't know <laughs> they, that one grew bigger than the original right here but they're curved okay guys um thank you for watching um bye